Hello guys, welcome to Mayunix channel. Today I will show you how to install Windows 11 in VirtualBox on Windows 10. In this video it is assumed that VirtualBox is installed. Or if you don't have VirtualBox installed, you can follow the video on how to install VirtualBox in the description. It is also assumed that you have downloaded the Windows 11 ISO, and if you have not downloaded the Windows 11 ISO, you can follow the video tutorial how to download the Windows 11 ISO in the description. First run VirtualBox by clicking on the icon on the desktop. After VirtualBox is running, then click New. In the Name column, just fill in Windows 11. On version select Windows 11 64-bit. Then click the next button, in the memory size window, adjust to the specifications for your PC or laptop and then click the next button, in the hard disk window just click the create button. Under hard disk file type, select VDI virtual disk image. Then click the next button. In the storage on physical hard disk window select dynamically allocated, then click the next button. In the file location and size window, specify the virtual hard disk capacity. Then click the create button. Now click the settings menu button. In the general window click the advanced tab. On shared clipboard select bidirectional. And also on drag and drop select bidirectional. Now move to system and on motherboard tab uncheck floppy. Then move to the processor tab. On the processor set according to the specifications of your PC or laptop. Now move to display. On the display tab click the tick on enable 3D acceleration. And on video memory set to maximum 128 megabytes. Then move to storage. Under controller SATA click on empty. On optical drive click on the CD icon and then click on choose a disk file. Then look for the Windows 11 ISO that was downloaded earlier. Then click the open button. Then switch to USB, make sure USB 3.0 XHCI controller is selected, then click the OK button. Now click on the Start Menu button. Now in the Window Setup window, then click the Next button. Now click on Install Now. In the Activate Windows window click I don't have a product key. Now select the version of Windows 11 to be installed. Then click the Next button. As you can see here we receive this error this PC cannot run Windows 11. First press the Shift plus F10 key on the laptop keyboard. At the command prompt type regedit. Then hit enter. In registry editor, navigate to this key, h key underscore local underscore machine backslash system backslash setup. And then right click on setup and then click on new key. And this new key name it lab config. Then hit enter. Now right click on an empty space in the right pane and select new dword 32 bit value. Name the new value, bypass tpm check and hit enter. Double click on bypass tpm check and type 1 in the value data box. Then click ok. Now right click again on an empty space in the right pane and select new dword 32 bit value. Name the new value, bypass ram check and hit enter. 
double click on bypass RAM check and type 1 in the value data box. Then click OK. Now right click again on an empty space in the right pane and select new DWORD 32 bit value. Name the new value, bypass secure boot check and hit enter. Double click on bypass secure boot check and type 1 in the value data box. Then click OK. Now close the registry editor window. At the command prompt, type exit and then hit enter. Finally close the Windows 11 setup window. In the pop-up window click yes. Then click on the install now button. In the activate Windows window click I don't have a product key. Now select the version of Windows 11 to be installed. Then click the next button. In the license terms window click the checkbox and then click next. Now click on custom install windows only advanced. Now click new. Then click apply. Then click ok. Then click the next button. Finally windows 11 can be installed on unsupported hardware. Wait for the Windows 11 installation process to complete. Windows 11 installation process is complete. Now select the country location. Then click the yes button. Then select keyboard layout. Then click the yes button. In the second keyboard layout window click the skip button. In the let's name your device window click skip for now. In the next window click on Setup for personal use. Then click the next button. In the Let's add your Microsoft account window scroll down and click on Sign in options. Then click on Offline account. In the what is a Microsoft account window click skip for now. Now enter your name. Then click the next button. In the password window, just ignore it, then click the next button. Now select the option from privacy settings. Then click the accept button. Windows 11 configuration is complete, and is already on the Windows 11 desktop. Now install Guest Edition CD image because the Windows 11 resolution in VirtualBox can't be full screen yet. In VirtualBox click on Devices and click on Install Guest Edition CD image. Now open Windows Explorer. Then click CD Drive VirtualBox Guest Editions. Scroll down and click on VBox Windows Editions AMD 64.
In the pop-up window that appears click yes. In the window VirtualBox Guest Edition Setup click the next button, then click the next button again, then click the install button. Wait for the installation process to finish. The installation process is complete then click the finish button. Then wait for the restart process to finish. The restart process is complete and now it's on the desktop again. Now test if full screen is working properly. Click view and click full screen mode. In the pop-up window that appears click the switch button. Ok, full screen mode is running normally. So that's it, if this video is useful don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead. See you in the next video.